video is sponsored by PokedownStore.com, the best place to get yourself some TCGO code cards. They have a huge variety up on their website, including the new battle style set. So definitely check out the website and you can use the coupon code ZAPDOSTCG for 5% of your complete order. How wonderful is that? Even uh, yeah, for the stuff like uh, Reshazard codes, Mew Mew codes, uh, Luke Metal codes, Eternus codes, Zation codes, League Battle decks, you name it. Be sure to check out the website. It's awesome. Also, check out uh, cardmarket.com. This is a European platform that I personally use every single day. You can buy and sell uh, cards to people all across Europe, which is actually very wonderful. And you can uh, yeah, just go on the website by clicking that link, the affiliated link in the description. You're going to be helping me out a ton. Anyhow, uh, without further ado, let's just get this video started. I'm already hyped up. Hopefully, you guys are hyped as well. Peace! What's up YouTube? It's Zadox TCG here and welcome back to our TCG battle video on my channel. Today it's time for another budget deck. It's going to be a, a grass box deck with Cherim. We have of course a, a whole variety of attackers but uh, the main thing is clear. We're going to be using Spring Bloom to accelerate as many grass energies from our hand to our Pokemon any way we like. And that's going to be awesome. Uh, it only works on Pokemon with known rule boxes but we can also accelerate to stuff like their Snorlax. So sometimes paraly paralyzation can be a win condition with Body Slam. But more importantly, we have Maractus, 60 damage for every energy attached to this Pokemon. We flip a coin for every head, 60 damage. Well, if you attach all the energies to this guy, uh, we're actually going to be able to have a good time. We also have Energy Recycler, which is a new card from Battle Stats, got reprinted. That means we can shuffle all energies back when things go wrong. We have Oracorio, we have Mew to protect our bench. And even a, a very fun fact, sometimes we can use False Swipe of the Cartana. It's also a free retreat pivot. And at one point, you can also slap 130 damage if the opponent has exactly... Actually, if you have exactly four prize cards remaining. So sometimes we knock out uh, at the Dene GX with Tapu Bulu. Then you can go and attack for 130 damage on something else. It's going to be awesome. So... Um, with Glimwood Tangle, we make sure we can also use that attack, full swipe, flip a coin of heads, uh, put damage challenge on the opponent's Pokemon until the HP is 10 remaining. Then afterwards, you can finish the job off with a Galarian Zigzagoon, and Galarian Zigzagoon also helps to put uh, Tapu Bulu's damage output with Nature's Judgment to a bigger level. Uh, right now it's 160, with Galarian Zigzagoon and Scoop Up Net, you can go to 180, so you can go after stuff like uh, yeah, Crobat V, for instance. Or try to go for two shots on a, a lot of Pokemon. Sometimes they have 330 HP, for instance, Rapid Strike, Urshifu. So you slap 160 and the following turn, 160 and a Galarian Zigzagoon Ping will do the job just fine. Level Ball to get ourselves the little Cherubis out of the, of the deck, uh, but also is nice um, to get our Pokemon like the Kartana, for instance. Very uh, easy searchable, as well as the, yeah, the Mew here. So there are uh, three copies of Level Ball and two copies of Communication. The reason for that is that you can also can get your uh, the Danny out of the deck or Oracorio when the, the time is right. And also Communication gets yourself Snorlax. And the early phases to set yourself up. We have four Research, two Marnie and two Bruno. So we're going to see how this deck fares. So uh, it's a deck I created from scratch. We have some Grass Attackers in the format, which we're going to try to abuse here. Hopefully we'll see uh, yeah, something good happening for this Grass Box. It's uh, yeah, a very nice budget deck. You don't need to have any, any expensive cards. The only expensive cards are one the Dene, which is actually very cheap right now, thanks to the Trainer Toolkit, as well as the uh, Oracorio. So Oracorio is probably the, the most expensive card in the list, but I think seven packs should get you there. So it's still a budget deck. We lost the coin flip. We see a hard face. A opponent is going first. We'll see how that uh, turns out for us. We have a Cherubi Ruby Ruby. Okay. We'll see how it goes. The opponent is going first, so uh, we'll see how uh, we are fair. We're up against Corvi Knight. They will have a resistance to grass, which is very, very bad. So uh, that's actually a very terrible matchup, to be honest. We could be using uh, the attack of... Um... Yeah, but <laughs> we could be using the attack of Maractus and try to go overboard. That is a way you can deal with your Corvi Knight V. There's Asian. They do have resistance to grass, so it's going to be a hard matchup regardless. So an Intrepid Sword going along. Hopefully no energies. That's how we like it. Not even an attach of the turn, so that's nice. Lovable again. What are we gonna get? What are we gonna get? We can go for a big cut, but that's not gonna be doing too much. Although, Galarian Ziggs is going to put some damage across the field. Maybe another Cherubi just in case. Just in case this first one goes down. This one, Recycle Energy, we can get that back later. And uh, let's just go for Dedane GX. We have to give up on three energies, but we do have Energy Recycler to shuffle them back. Glimwood Tangle. Yeah, research, I guess. Let's just uh, go overboard, drawing all the cards that we need. Tapu Bulu. We have a Bruno as well. Another Cherubi. Probably will not need another Cherubi, but uh, yeah, we can retreat anyhow. So a one damage counter on something could be nice. 
We have the Quick Ball to search ourselves our Choreo and go for a Bruno so we can get lots of energies in play. That is the way we can go about it. For now, I think we're good. We can also poke some damage. Your opponent switches their active with one of their bench Pokemon. This is probably not going to be causing us too much trouble. It's okay as it is. If we get out uh, Cherim, it's going to be awesome to accelerate all the energies of choice. There is, of course, the Corviknight V, Max. And we had to give up on one boss's orders, which is also pretty damn bad. Okay, quick ball. How many energies do we need? Like with Maractus, 60, 60, 60, 60. That's 240. With 5, it's 300. We need 6 heads. 6 heads, 6 energies. Glimmer Tangle is in play though. So can we get like energy recycle and get all the energies onto a Maractus? Who knows? We can try to go for the 2 shot. That's something we can do. Nature's Judgment is a way we can go about it. Loop metal, air balloon. They're very surprised. Communication. So that uh, loop metal is pretty damn annoying. So there's three three prizes right here. Thing we should we could see going is uh, the Glimmu Tangle combo with uh, none other than um, <clears throat> yeah. Let's get rid of two saucers. That's crazy. Uh, where are the energies? I haven't seen any energies. Okay, that's the first energy. Is gonna go for full metal wall GX. He is gonna go for full metal wall GX. We still have the Glaring Zigzagoon by our side. There's a Snorlax as well. Interesting choices. I'm actually gonna go for Quick Ball. Get rid of a Cherubi. I'm getting ourselves. We can go for like Kartana and try to go for it. That could be very funny, right? Kartana. <laughs> Yo. They're having a, a broken heart face. Let's go for this guy as well. And uh, yeah, it's gonna go for a Marnie. There's a, a brick face from the opponent. Still, I haven't pulled any cher cherims. <laughs> Still no cherims. That surprises me a little bit, but okay. We can deal with it. Let's go for Quick Ball. Snorlax. Quick Balling away. I don't know what we should Quick Ball away though. The Marnie is nice. But we still need to find more stuff. Quick ball, maybe or choreo, drawing even more cards if this guy goes down. Let's go, Gorman Dice. Okay, we have a, a Bruno, we have a recycle energy. Glimmer Tangle is still in play. See how it goes. I don't know if he's playing Chaotic Swell or not. We can always like gust Danny. So there's yo just an intrepid sword. We marnied him to a, a, a hand size where he's not able to do anything. That's insane. Energy recycle is pretty damn nice though. So we can get all these energies back that we lost previously. Get them all back. Getting that recycle energy equipped it onto the Kartana. And uh, I think I will go for a Marnie play once again. Cortana is going to be our uh, attacker that's going to put the opponent to a low amount of each hit points. Wow, look at this. <laughs> Looks like Tishi Joe decides to uh, do what it does best. Weird stuff. Okay. He does have Air Balloon. Maybe he has boss. Maybe he doesn't. Already one boss in this card. Maybe he has Eldegos. Maybe he knocks out the uh, Snorlax here. I actually don't want to put this guy to a low amount of each hit points. We do have free retreat with this, which is nice. We also have ordinary rod to shuffle it back. Okay, hopefully this will turn out a little bit better. We have boss, okay. Don't try this at home, folks. Don't try this at home. I don't know if he has Melolana. He could have Cheryl, I think, but no, no Melolana, right? Let's go for this first. Come on, Cherims, where are you at? If we have a research, well, we're gonna wait with that research. I'm just gonna go for boss's orders, taking down this guy, hopefully. Full swipe, let's go. Wanna flip again? No. Look at that damage I put. <laughs> 250 damage. 250 freaking damage. That's insane. This guy also has resistance to metal. Actually, resistance to uh, Psychic, I should say. We will be able to reshuffle back all energies. <clears throat> We're gonna lose four of them, then we can research. It's gonna be okay. I wonder if he's gonna get out of the active position. He already used two switches, already used an air balloon. 
He could move all the energies around to his uh, Luke Metal and try to do something funky. <laughs> it looks like our Cartana played out, so uh, we did not even need Glimble Tangle. But as you can see, if you can ba Bazillion Energies onto something like a Maractus, it could also go your way to one-hit KO Pokemon. And also, because of this guy has a 3 retreat cost, I actually wanted to go for that. He can get all the energies onto his Luke Metal and try to attack us, but he will lose 4 energies. Already wasted 2 Saucers, so we'll see how that goes. And also, Luke Metal is not able to KO our, our Corio. Which is totally awesome. And uh, Maractus has to uh, take care of something like the Zation. Tapu Bulu needs to get, get rid of this guy and this guy. It's gonna be interesting for sure. If we are able to find Galarian Zigzagoon, it's gonna be totally awesome because that means we can knock this guy out. We still have access to scoop up nuts and stuff, so it's it could be okay. And drop a sword, <laughs> yes! This guy, this guy is not doing anything. Okay. Hopefully Cherim pops up. No Cherims. That's too bad. Oh man, I really wanted to add Cherim. We are going to be attaching over here. I'm gonna be going for uh, shuffle energies back. Two of them. And uh, it's just gonna have to be research here, unfortunately. Scoop up that angle and zigzagoon is what we need. Oh yeah, that's perfect. So we scoop up one of these. The communication abulu. So look at this deck, let's go, man. Let's get ourselves Galarian Zigzag. Taking ourselves a couple of prize cards. Look at this deck go. <laughs> we got three prize cards for that, thank you. A research. A Cherim again. So lots of Cherim. Oh yeah, there was a, only one Cherim in our list. That's crazy. There we go. I actually want to be saving all of our energies for... Scoop up that, let's scoop up this guy. Huh, this guy probably will go down if you put him to a low amount of hit points, we can then knock it out, then go for Bulu. That's a perfect play in my opinion. It's gonna accelerate all the energies over here, then knock him out with that. Just in case, accelerating here. Do we spring boom already or do we put everything onto something like a Maractus? We only have five energies and six energies. It's never, never gonna be working out. Maybe we wait with Spring Bloom. He could have Reset Stamp or Marnie. So that's pretty bad. Yeah, might as well use Spring Bloom right now. Attachment here. Attachment there. Here we go! False Swipe! We really need to flip again. Yes. 10 HP remaining, folks. Phoenix is out, Zigzag goes in, and then maybe we can get a boss's orders, our last boss's orders. Oh yeah, boss's orders is gone. Boss's orders is gone, so we really need to smack a Corvi Knight. But luckily, we do have one copy of Ordinary Rod left. That means we can put Cartana back, which means we can put this guy to a low amount of hit points. Or we can try to two-shot with Tapu Bulu and stuff. Tapu Bulu into a Maractus, that could be crazy. He's going after Orocorio. I love that. Love that play. Okay, this one is gone. We have free retreat always with Cartana, that's something I love. We have double Cherim. Next up, Galarian zigzag ping on that guy, Kachaka. Taking two prize cards over here. Recycle energy is pretty damn good. And <laughs> Barakthus is here, okay. These guys are not doing too much. I think we're gonna have to put the opponent to a low hand size. If our, uh, Maractus, if our Cartana goes down, we get the Recycle Energies back. Maybe we can go for a crazy Maractus play later. Ordinary Rot as well. Ordinary Rot can shuffle back the Mew and some energies. Maybe we can do that later. Maract we do have two Maractus right here. We will have uh, access to more stuff. Level Ball, what is this in here? Nothing left, three energies. It's not too much. It's not too much. Also, Glaring Zigzagoon does not affect this guy at all. Hmm. <laughs> it's gonna have to be False Swipe. Let's go. Uh, no. <laughs> Look at all that damage I put. <laughs> 310 damage. Oh, this guy is not able to attack anymore. Three saucers down the drain, so he has free retreat though. So I wonder if he has another Pokemon ready to attack. Another Corvi Knight. Interesting. 
problem is we are running out of bots but as you can see this deck has potential even though we might not get the victory right now just because of the way we don't have any boss left we might put all energies onto uh, a Maractus here. How many heads do we need? 60, 60, 60, 60. He does have minus 30, so we need five heads. Oh, our, all of our Maractus go down the drain anyhow. Ooh, also our Ordinary Rod is gone. Glimwood Tangle is here though. I wonder if he has another boss left. How many boss in here? Two. Could have Eldegos. Potentially. Mm, recycle energy. We'll see here. What do we get? We got a Bruno. Bruno is pretty damn nice. I'm gonna be putting that recycle energy on this guy as a way to retreat. Green level ball to shuffle some stuff back. Yeah. The only way out is actually getting all the energies onto a Maractus at this point. Ordinary Rod. Okay, we still don't have Maractus. We'll have to wait with the Ordinary Rod, to be honest. Let's do the Recycle Energy here. We don't have our... Uh, we don't have our good friend by our side. Your opponent switches their active for one of their bench Pokemon. They have free retreat, so that's not good. We'll see how it goes. We discard all energies over here. Yeah, let's go. Only 100 damage, though. Ah, dang it! We are so close. This deck is fun, right? Even though we will not get the victory because we lost one boss's orders. Maybe we should add in a scoop up net Mewtwo combo. Salsaring onto uh, Bronze Arm of all things. If we had like our great catcher left or a boss orders, this would have been game, but right now it isn't. Switches. He doesn't have another Corviknight V Max. We should be okay. Four saucers down the drain. Four freaking saucers down the drain, though. Another Corviknight V Max. So this that guy has uh, 320 minus the resistance. Is that means he has 250? 250. 250 minus the 30 is 280. We need to slap 280 freaking damage. Oh, he's putting everything on a bronze on. What? Cheryl. Oh boy, the Cheryl plays are insane. Okay, let's see here. How many energies do we have left? Yeah, this is gonna be painful. But our uh, strategy was revealed though. We were able to use False Wipe. Unfortunately, our boss was actually uh, is in a discard pile right now. Otherwise, things could have been better. But as you can see, the deck has some serious potential. Maybe if you guys can make it a little bit uh, better by adding in something like Mewtwo to get some balls back. Okay, let's go for this one. Okay, Maractus is here. Let's go. <laughs> oh, Maractus. Do we still have a scoop on that left? Is it priced? I don't know. We play four of them, right? Maybe it's not priced. Maybe it's just... We just have to go out loud. Shuffle. Energies. Shuffle basic energies. Let's see what we're able to find here. Ah, no, I think Spring Bloom, uh, like imagine six. Yeah, I think our scoop up net is priced. I think our scoop up net is priced. So uh, unfortunately that happened, or is it in the last card of our deck? We should have checked, but still, let's just go out and style with powerful needles. Mm, yeah, well played. You have a good deck. There was no way we were able to one-hit KO that after the Cheryl, so a uh, very interesting matchup for sure. <laughs> hey! Yeah, but this is a fun deck. Fun budget deck. Has some uh, untapped potential, that's for sure. So hopefully you guys are enjoying the daily Pokemon TCG content. If you are enjoying the daily content, be sure to let me know by destroying the hell out of that like button, as it helps out the channel more than you would possibly think. We're gonna try at least to get a W here with this funky deck. Uh, Cartana was very good. 
Maractus could have been good if we would have drawn it earlier. Uh, I do love the way that we can use Galarian Zigzagoon, but what are the chances that uh, yeah, all of our stuff like Boss Zords and Great Catcher end up in the discard pile when we actually need it? We did boss that Luke Metal to take three prize cards. Maybe that was uh, not a great decision. We'll see. Let's try out another matchup. This guy has some funky sleeves. We have Maractus. We have Chapobulu. Chapobulu or Maractus. Yeah, they are all not too good, to be honest, because we don't have a quick ball for Snorlax or something. We need quick ball or communication to just get this into a better situation. Okay, that's good. So uh, it's an Oracorio. We go for quick ball. We have to get rid of, do we get rid of boss? Probably not, right? Get rid of this. We're getting ourselves a Snorlax. So Snorlax, scoop up the Bulu. This one, this one, this one. Do we go full on Maractus mode or do we go Papa Bulu? 160 is not enough, but I do have Galarian Zigzagoon and we have boss as well. So I think I will go for this Bulu. And Gormandize, activation, six cards. <laughs> We can even attack with Snorlax, by the way. So you can attach allergies to the Snorlax. You can scoop up whatever you want. Whatever you want to do, man. Salanded. Is that going to be Blown? Blown Salazzle? Is that the deck we uh, featured before? Or maybe it's going to be Ndidi. Fun Rogue Archetypes. Getting rid of the Research. Getting a Jirachi. Okay, Research, Jirachi, and Salanded. That's interesting. Mm. Salazzle Weeping Bell. Okay. We get Marnies. We don't mind. Our hand was not good anyhow. Switching to this one. The good news is he has a two prizer on board and we do not. Also, Aromatic Grass Energy would automatically win this matchup. But we don't have that, unfortunately. So budget deck against budget deck. So this time around, it's a fun video, right? He needs another Marnie. Okay, fine. Four cards in hand. Nothing to do, nothing to see here. Maractus, not a lot we can do about that. So we have Cherim. Energy over here. Spring Bloom. Attachment over there. I'm not gonna slap down Oracorio. Not gonna do it. Gormandize. Chuck, 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 chuck. <laughs> well, that's what you get in TCGO land. All the same cards. We do have Scoop on that, so we can scoop up the Snorlax and then attack with Tapu Bulu. Or our Snorlax go down and then we knock out the Salazzle with the Tapu Bulu. Salazzle is here. Which is the better one prize archetype? I think in this scenario, we have the edge here. Don't think we'll need Maractus. Yeah, Th only three heads to knock out Oracorio though. So if we have an average of like five energies attached to it, we can knock out the uh, Oracorio. Scoop up net. Escape rope, take this guy, please. Please eat him up. Weeping Bell. Marty again, thank you. Our hand was not good. We had research, but we had to get on two ordinary rods, which is a little bit much, wouldn't you say? <laughs> Still not what we need, but okay. Quick ball again. We will take a prize card on that Salazzle, though. Another Salandit. Is he just gonna go for Yellhorn? Does he have <laughs> the Rise of Roasting for nothing? Well, that's super sad. And now we really need to do something. Spring Bloom. Attach here. Uh, I can do the attach of turn and just need to have two heads, right? Let's go for it. Go! Well. Tails, tails, heads, heads. Yeah, that's how, that's how, that works out. That works out, 50-50. Maractus taking a KO in this video. Crazy, I know. So, our Bulu is ready to take uh, care and handle off that Oracorio GX. Who has the better one prize deck? That's what it is right now. 
He has another Salazzle. He still needs to have a Weeping Bell going around. And Armor Rectus, uh, funny enough, used the powerful needles to uh, knock out a Salazzle. I know it was a little bit of luck base, but that was the only thing we could have done. Could have retreated and go for Gormandize. Now that I think about it, here, take my Snorlax. We have another one ready. And that means we can get another energy from the Snorlax. Also, if we get Galarian Zigzagoon, we can use Nature's Judgment, knock him out without discarding our energies. If he doesn't get down uh, um, a, a spell sprout right now, he's definitely going to be done for it. Triple Celerate Energy, so he's able to just go for the Rise of Roasting, knocking out Snorlax here. We don't care about that too much. We got a Recycle Energy back, so typically we could go for uh, attacking with Maractus again or just discarding all of our energies with Tapu Blue just to make sure of it. We only need two heads, right? TCGO. We're gonna hang on to Maractus. That's what we're doing. Hanging on to Maractus. This one. Lovable. If we are at four prize cards, then this guy can attack for one energy, which is totally busted. We can also like retreat, get the recycle energies back. We already attached this turn, so that's not an option. I think I'm gonna take this guy, the Kartana, which can slice up opponents and a Cherubi as backup. And let's go! Might even slap down a Snorlax just in case. Powerful needles! Kacha! Kacha! Uh, yeah, we really want to flip again, man. Wow. Well, 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 well. Well, he, at least he's not able to use Oracorio, so maybe he doesn't have Weeping Bell. Okay, he does have Weeping Bell. That's pretty damn terrible. At least we're not playing two prize Pokemon, so at least we have that advantage. Should have gone for the instant KO of Tapu Bulu here. Another Derise of Roasting. We do get the energies back, so we can actually go for Tapu Bulu here. Okay. Tapu Bulu attachment. And Bruno! Bruno's pretty good. Like, look at that. <laughs> Crazy hand. Energy Recycler, getting two energies back, that's not what we want. Another Bulu. We don't have any energies just yet, we only need one for next turn though, so it's not the end of the world here, so we can just use Energy Recycler for two, because this matches this matchup doesn't require us to get more. This guy has some damage, can go for Galarian Zigzagoon later, so it made Nature's Judgment, uh, discard all energies, no, bam. Maybe we can go for like crazy deny play to find like boss zords on that Oracorio. I'm probably gonna wait for late game to do that. And right now, two Weeping Bell, he's not gonna be able to go for uh, another poison stuff, so this is gonna be ending up very terrible. If our Bulu miraculously does go down, we can go for the big cut of Kartana, slapping 130 damage because we have exactly four prize cards remaining. Okay, so landed. He does need scoop on that research. He has great catcher and all that, but uh, look at our. We don't run any two prizers right now. We're just hanging on to a. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah, we get Yell Horned. Fine, we don't mind. Hmm. Another switch card. Scooping up. Yeah, we are confused right now. We don't mind too much. We can retreat, shuffle all energies back with Energy Recycler, and then go for the big cut of Kartana. Switch. We can get a Weapon Bell. Well, thank you. So, first of all, we also can scoop this guy up, by the way. It's the same as. Yeah, it's not the same as retreating. Retreating to Kartana. We get rid of these two grass energies. Ta -ta. So, we can find ourselves. Energy Recycler, let's put it back. Two of these. Mm, quick bowling. Yeah, we're gonna use communication. I actually want to get that Galarian Zigzagoon ping in right now. Yeah, damage on this guy so we can get him later. We can scoop up the Snorlax. Although Snorlax is also a formidable attacker to be honest. What else do we have? Oracorio. We only need one Grass Energy, by the way. 
Maractus is probably not going to be needing another Cherubi. Probably not going to be needing that. And just in case, go for this. And research. Could have actually like, scooped up the Zigzagoon to ping even more damage, but it's okay. Yeah, this guy definitely has to attack right now. We have Lava Ball, so we can get out another Cherim, just in case the other one goes down. And we have Great Catcher for next turn to slaughter the Oracorio. And right now we're slapping 130. Pretty damn awesome number, if I say so myself. Cutting open the Weeping Bell. Also, don't see a Bell Sprout. Oh, yeah, he does have a Bell Sprout, so he could attack potentially. And here's the Danny for us. It's a one prize race, and we have the advantage, and we can gust up uh, that Oracorio next. Actually, the, the last turn. We can do it next turn as well, because everybody will be able to KO a Salazzle. So this is probably the better budget deck out of the bunch. There's Salazzle. <laughs> Did you see that against Corvi Knight? That was funny, right? If only Corvi Knight didn't have the ability that we were not able to put Gallery and Zigzagoon pings on it, it would have been better. Way better. But yeah. Do love this uh, one prize grass deck. He has Marnie. But we still have lots of energies in the deck, so we don't care. So he switches around, has the Salazzle, is able to KO it. We are going back and forth. I think I will just Great Catcher Oracorio right now. Yeah, and be done with it. And then last turn we did the Dene and go from there. The Rise of Roasting does get one prize card for that. And I do love the fact that with Cherim you can accelerate to the active. That's something so huge. Attachment. Attachment. We Ordinary Roth do both. Maractus and uh, Cartana goes back in the deck. Energy goes back in the deck. We go for Great Catcher. Chaka, Chaka. Taking this guy down and go for the Dane. So we can accelerate energies onto Snorlax to ensure ourselves in the game. Only one though, but it's fine. Scooping up. Zigzag. Maractus is fun. Yeah, this also has a free pivot. Let's just go with that. Research again. Look at all these energies. Spring Bloom again. We could actually like gust these guys, these, these kind of guys down. So we're actually gonna wait. Just gonna level ball for nothing. Wait with accelerating and just go for nature's judgment for everything. Yes. 160. So uh, Tap of Wool is back with Nature's Judgment. 160. And we only need to kill one Pokemon. We have a Recycle Energy. We have so many energies in hand right now. He could stamp us to one card, but this deck probably is not running stamp because of the uh, yeah, deck space. He does have Marnies though. But we still have a Snorlax. Okay, he has Boss. <laughs> he's gonna go after the Dene. So he's not Marnieing in us. Unless he stamps right now, we should be good. Scooping up. He does play it very well, but in the end, Snorlax is able to slap enough damage with Body Slam. We're gonna do it with Tapu Bulu anyhow. Well played. You have a good deck. Let's go. Spring Bloom. One, two, and three. And then again, 160. So that's how the deck functions. You have a, a whole heap of attackers here ready to strike damage. You have Tapu Bulu, consistent 160. You can go for Kartana, putting the opponent to 10 HP remaining. Or you can go crazy with Maractus sometimes and get all energies you have equipped. You can go for Bruno, the Dene, and Oracorio play to draw almost your entire deck. And it's totally awesome. So uh, yeah, definitely try out this da deck. We're going to be playing one more game with it. I know they're uh, pretty long games, but it's a one prize deck. What do you expect? And now we're up against Dragapult. So uh, Kartana is a very great Pokemon against that. If you can put the opponent to 10 HP remaining against Dragapult, then you can finish him off later with the Galarian Zigzagoon. I know we have like weak HP Pokemon, but we'll see how it goes. Also, if it's Dracapult, maybe it's Mewtwo. We don't know. At least we have a Lava Ball, so that means we are able to find ourselves our Cherubi. Yeah, Sinistee, okay. 
Synesty will evolve into uh, that guy later. We can put a Recycle Energy over here. A lovable. Another one of these, just in case. Hmm. Yeah, you can also attack with Mew, by the way. Because he has 30 HP, but Maractus will probably finish that guy and no problems asked. Unless he has uh, Air Balloon, Bunnel B, and 6 Pokemon that, oof, Recycle Energy. Okay, that means we really need to find Cherim next turn. Quick Bolt. This is Mad Party with Hammers. What? And they just concede. They just concede. They see they were up against an unwinnable matchup. Tapu Bulu. <laughs> Tapu Bulu in the house. I also love the fact you can attack with Snorlax. That's like definitely coming in clutch if you're using that attack. Paralyzation sometimes wins you the game. J Dubs is our next opponent. Last opponent of the day. What we are playing with Tapu Bulu. You want a coin flip? Want to go first? Yeah, always. Always go first with this list. Because we have Gorman dies, we can evolve the next turn. It's awesome like that. This one. I wonder if it's gonna be a Welder deck or not. It's probably looking like ADPization. Yeah, that's very terrible for us. So I think Maractus is our way to go against that matchup. Hello. Hey. So let's see, 60, 60, 60, yeah, that's gonna be 240. We need five heads to get to 300. Galarian Zigzag could come in clutch. Maractus. Galarian Zigzag. Communication. Communication. And yeah, the Zigzag could have come in clutch, but right now I'm more concerned of getting our stuff ready. The zigzag. Garmin dice. Yay! Okay. Cherum, all energies on the Maractus. This is the part of the video that you guys wanted to see, right? We don't have boss's orders, but we might just be able to KO this guy instantly. Depends on what happens. Haven't slapped down a two prize Pokemon, so he needs to go through uh, a lot of Pokemon. He's probably gonna go, ooh, Saucer instantly. If he has Energy Switch and all that, we need to go and knock out the ADP before it is able to do anything. Will we be able to? Oh, Intrepid Sword? C cool. <laughs> I was getting afraid a little bit, but it's okay. It's totally okay. Okay. Cherim. Let's go. Spring Bloom. One. Two, three, four, four energies already. Now we're playing Lava Ball. <laughs> Hard face, cool. You have a good deck. Yeah, we also have this guy, by the way. If things go down. 210. What is this? 250, right? 250, yeah, probably like a zigzag is not a bad idea here. Scoop up. Snorlax, goodbye, Snorlax. Yeah, this is interesting. Galarian Zigzag, putting one damage counter on here so to make our life a little bit easier. Cherim number two. We have Ordinary Rod, which probably will not need. Level Ball, get rid of this guy. Let's go, dig, dig for resources, energies. Okay. Spring Bloom. One. Two. Still hasn't used his GX move though. We can go for it. scoop up the zigzag again. We'll see how this goes though. Or we can scoop up the zigzag, get ourselves Snorlax back in play. Do we have Snorlax? No, we don't have any Snorlax left, unfortunately. We're gonna have to retreat here. Do we have, like, if we use the quick balls here, it's not gonna matter too much. Let's just go with it. Powerful needles! Come on, man! <laughs> oh, yeah! Without Glimwood Tangle. Where's Glimwood Tangle, by the way? We're not gonna get that lucky again. Do have Oracorio though, so if something goes wrong, 
we could do some stuff. Six energies. Four of them heads. Five of them heads, by the way. What now? Okay, the water energy. The Maractus is insane. He still needs the Ultra Creation, though. So if we're able to slap ADP with a budget deck, our day will be complete. Also, energy recyclers. We have them by our side. Unfortunately, not able to draw with Snorlax anymore. So hopefully we top deck a supporter. Hopefully. Yeah, we can also strike with False Swipe of the Cartana for enough damage because right, right now slapping like five hits again will be insane unless we get glim with tangle or something <laughs> okay scoop up nets not what we need to be honest with bow what can we get mew tapu bulu another maractus that's funny that is pretty funny yeah, I just need to make sure we don't get any of these. Could ball this. Mew. Mew. Can actually Mew finish the job on the ADP? We'll see. We'll see what happens. We cannot draw right now, so it's gonna have to be powerful needles. Zero, zero, one, two, three, four. Yes, this is interesting. Oof, that was close. Ugh. That was very close. Okay. Our next approach is um, using Mew, side power, three damage counters, and zigzag to knock him out. Right? Right. He can still ultimate ray. But we don't seem to be drawing into supporter Pokemon. Okay. We're just going after the tree press Pokemon here. Cool. And I'll come, if we draw into an energy, that would be good. That means maybe he leaves our Maractus alone. I already used boss's orders. Going down on that guy. Mm hmm. Go. This guy. This guy can also knock him out, by the way. Maractus number two is nice. So we get Maractus number two. We slap enough damage with the Cartana anyhow. Right, right. So we scoop this guy up, put some more damage onto that Zation to lower its HP amount. Go for a big classic research. Come on! Yeah, we have Grass Energy. Which can cut this guy open. We have Glimwood Tangle by our side. We can ordinary rot the energies later and then go for Marnie. We'll see how he goes. Also, don't want to be drawing into scoop up net, by the way. Although we can make some room for Oracorio to draw cards then, if we are able to find some more quick balls. How many quick balls in here? Only two. Okay, that's interesting. He could Marnie us, he could boss us. I think he's gonna boss us, so let's just go for this approach. Big cut. Kacha! We gotta open an ADP for three freaking prize cards. Ooh, what now? Only one prize card left, fellas. Only one prize card left with this budget deck. Saucer. Cherish Ball. He has to be careful. If he slaps down like, oh, it's Mawal. Mawal can attack for only two energies. Does he have the Dennis? Do we see any the Dennis? <laughs> okay. This is such a fun deck. You have no idea, boss. Yeah, that's what he sh he definitely should have done. Okay, that's cool. I understand that. So no Marnie, and no Marnie means we can um, set up this Maractus. Hopefully with enough energies. We're just gonna shuffle him back all the energies. Hopefully drawing um, enough. Let's go. We have the Glimwood Tangle still, so that's nice. We have the Boss's Orders as well. Okay. Boss's Orders, this guy has 170. 60, 60, 60. That's not a lot. 60, 60, 60. That's definitely not a lot, but there's no way we can do it. Spring Bloom. Attachment. Recycle Energy. 
over here we are gonna go for ordinary rod do both we need the Danny or the and we need energies and we're gonna lead, create some room by getting rid of the zigzag Hopefully that will be enough to get ourselves enough energies to knock this guy out. Spring Bloom, attachment. Next up. <laughs> this guy. Quick ball. You have a good deck. The Dana GX in the house. Hard face. Let's go. Energies! Not a lot of energies. Spring Bloom again. Quick Bolt. Where are the energies, by the way? Three energies left. Come on. Come on, Oracorio, draw the energies! No energies at all. Well. Let's go, I guess. <laughs> Three hats. 180, not enough, unfortunately. We have to flip again. Yeah, bollocks. <laughs> okay, we were not, we were short on energies. We were able to one at KOM later, but we whiffed on so many energies. I think there's a lot of energies prized, to be honest. Like four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. It happens, but we were very close with the budget deck, so at least you can get us some slack. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to mouse that like button, as always, as it helps out the channel more than you would possibly think. Go check out our sponsor, SpotownStore.com, the best place to get yourself some TCGO code cards. Use Zapdos TCG coupon for 5% off your entire order. How awesome is that? And go check out CardMarket.com if you're a European player to buy and sell cards to people all across Europe. And now, have yourself a fantastic day. Trust out this budget deck. It's a whole heap of fun. And I'll see you guys in the next video very, very shortly. I'm out. Peace.